We did it. We fucking did it. 1,000 subscribers. We did it, not just me. All of us did. Thank you everyone for subscribing, commenting, sharing, liking. I don't know what else to say. I'm speechless right now. Yeah, you guys, we did it. We're right now as I'm filming this, we are at 1005 subscribers. Okay? After months of doing videos, filming, editing, uploading, Wi-Fi fucking up, I have to wait for a few more hours to do it again. You guys, I've been through it. And although 1000 is a little bit compared on YouTube, it's still something, okay? And I am now eligible to be monetized. So I am gonna go ahead and apply to that. Might take a couple months to be approved. I don't know, but I'm just happy, you guys. Thank you everybody for supporting me and believing in my channel. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and react to a video because you know, this is what this channel is about. Snow the product, everyday days. She came out with a video called First time in America in 10 years transformation, shopping spree. She's talking about her cousin. For those who have not been caught up, she lived in America, moved to Mexico for 10 years, and then came back. So she missed a lot in those 10 years. So here she is with Snow. Out of everybody in America, her cousin has to be Snow the product, okay? So she's gonna teach her her way of America. So let's go ahead and enjoy. So I know we haven't vlogged in a while, and I know that we have been doing every night nights, which is actually going amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you haven't been able to check them out, a lot of y'all were really asking strongly for me to leave up the every night nights. So we were like, all right, we'll leave the every night nights for now since we don't know what we're doing. It's not a podcast yet. It's just kind of like some live streams that are really fun, and they've actually gotten really personal. If you haven't checked them out, go check them out. However, here's a Girl, I can't check it out though, because when you are doing it live, I'm literally getting off of work, driving here, and filming. So I'm missing every night nights. Keep your videos up, I would like to see them. Long awaited vlog, and this is, I feel like, a part one of like a series. I think we'll keep on like working on ourselves and like doing all this stuff, as you guys heard. Juju's trying to quit smoking, Zuli's trying to find her inner outgoing bitch, and uh, <laughs> I'm working through my life uh, as a parent and as a grown ass woman. And I love her shirt, by the way as a businesswoman and just we're all trying to find ours she's got neck tattoos i didn't i never realized she had neck tattoos i want one a lot of people are thinking i'm crazy but i want one i want it on my left side comment below let me know if i should get one was it a bad idea y'all think i don't know but i want one ourselves right and that's what this whole everyday days thing is about it's like your everyday Day. So on this one, um, Zuli wanted to be a little bit more outgoing. Like we call it bad bitch transformation just because it's like a catchier title. However, she's already a bad bitch. We know that. Look at her eyes, look at her face, look at look at her as a person. But um it was fun to go shopping and it gave us a free excuse to go shopping and have a bunch of girls' days and girls' nights and everything. So it's been really fun and she's an amazing addition to everyday days and I love this. Um I love working with family and um yeah, join us along for the ride. So you guys remember we said that we were gonna turn Zuli into a bad bitch. She's already bad. We just you know we had to tweak it a little bit. You already know I try to teach her how to twerk. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Look at her, yo. She's going hard. She's going hard. Look at this bitch. Those actually, I don't know. I was out. That's her. That's the cousin. In Mexico for almost 10 years. So being out here, especially in LA, you see, oh my God, you see like so many new things. Girls just looking so pretty, so nice, like so sexy, wearing a whole bunch of stuff. Guys, just wow. Like, yeah, fashion is just way better over here than it is in Mexico. Oh, so of I kind of wanted to just, you know, be able to fit in. Be able to say like, yeah, I'm here. I'm in LA. You know, this is my new life. So Snow and JJ decided that it would be fine to help me out with this baddie transformation. And I thought it would be cool to actually just do it. I thought it actually would be really fun. But yeah, I mean, we just thought it would be fun to actually do it and just see how far I would be able to push my limit and just go for it. This is a great video idea, by the way. Hi. Okay. All right. <laughs> so step number one was to dye my hair. My hair was regular brown, which I do like. You know, I loved it. But being around Juju and Snow and them being so bold and open to try new things, mm -hmm. I wanted to be more bold myself because I've yes. never really been like that. I mean, you want your personality to shout, you know, and you can't shout with a plain look. You just can't. 
went to go get our hair dyed. It's actually a really good experience. Honey hair treated us so nicely. She had this whole thing set up for us. Oh, how awesome! So Mexican. Oh, exciting. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> oh, shoot. So Mexican. Look what we have at the table here. We got some lime. It's lime, right? Or is it lemon? I think it's lime. I don't know. Got some tequila, some vodka, some fucking Hennessy up in there. You got you got the munchies, the hot Cheetos, girl. You got it all, girl. Oh my god. They got it all. The they got Cheetos. the chocolate. Out here. I decided that I wanted this unicorn type of look, which was like a dark purple and blue, which I absolutely loved. Girl, look at this. We're gonna stick some lashes on you, glitter. Sheesh! Oh, oh that's cute. Oh, excuse me. I feel like a beautiful little butterfly. After she finished it, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh my god, like this is just wow. Like, honestly, I couldn't stop taking pictures of myself and I just kept repeating over and over and over. Good wow. for you. Oh, wow. yeah. God. Get it, Look, it's almost midnight. Oh my god, yo, we're gonna definitely finish on the vlog. Oh, and we're still gonna FaceTime her, huh? For the yes. other shit. But she met us with munchies, chocolate, and Hennessy. Like, like, what the hell? Oh, wow. Oh, a bag, a bag full of goodies. Oh my god! Starving on the way home. Step two, shopping. Which, by the way, I want to give a shout out to Larae. Y'all don't know who Larae is. Come on, I've been reacting to his videos for a while now. He was big on Vine. He is big on YouTube. Four million subscribers, and he is big on TikTok. That motherfucker commented on my video saying, I love your videos. Larray, I see you. Thank you so much for commenting. I absolutely loved it. I think it was my favorite part to do just because any girl loves going into any shop and just buying stuff, especially when you're sad, when you're depressed, when you're happy, when you're hungry. Well, maybe not when you're hungry, but it was just so much fun. All right, so we're looking at what sizes. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm bored already, but let's do it. Yeah, I'm trying to turn this little bad bitch. How about I go get y'all food and then y'all just do this? <laughs> You're so that dude yeah. that hates being in the stores. Cause I go to the store and I get what I want. Like, like I walk in, I scope it out, I grab what I want, I walk out. I do not do this. That's definitely me. I know what I want. I go to the stores that I know I need to go to, pay and get the fuck out. If I'm gonna go with people, oh, it, it ruins my day because they take forever and I'm tagging along. I don't know nothing about anybody else's style so I, why am i there my opinions don't matter <laughs> so yeah i'm with you snow like, no y'all do like y'all shop like girls i like, shop, shop like a guy like i just look around i go i want that grab it take it i don't need to be trying a bunch of stuff unless it's really expensive then i'll just try it on to make sure right babe she needs yeah. a jean jacket i agree no la girl can not have a jean jacket <laughs> This? Yes, and a little off the shoulder, you know, a little that vibe. Oh, shoot! Okay, girl. <laughs> okay, girl. Yeah, picked a little bit of lace. Where was the lace? And I was like, look, Suki, I think this is a little formal, a little a little Mexico. I think we're gonna get you over here. We ain't Mexico no more, bitch. I've always had to, like, look at the price tags and, you know, be like, oh, wait, you know, like, how much does this, is this too expensive? And for the first time, I actually didn't care about that, which was totally cool. And it was like a new experience, which I absolutely love. I love the fact that I have them to kind of guide me as you guys can tell I wanted lace I love lace I'm like a little girly girl but I don't think I bought anything with lace this time I don't think I bought anything with flowers I was trying to stick to the code LA girl I love it yeah yeah cuz girl lace and floral is very Mexican very Mexican style and I know cuz I've been in Mexico many many times and, and this is just for starters. I think the jacket is the jacket a little too big. Is it a medium? Depends on how you're gonna wear it. Yeah, if you're gonna wear it off the shoulder. Okay, Zuli. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Zuli with the tuli. Turn around, Zuli. Uh, that way. You I don't like hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. I don't hey, like hey. it. Oh wait. You see me in the mirror. Let me walk this way. All right. Here you go. Yeah, you're just walking, turning, doing everything. Hey, hey. You gotta play the music though, Snow. <laughs> Shoot the jean jacket. Anytime we go shopping and we grab a bunch of stuff, they think we're gonna steal it. It's like we, we're not allowed to grab a bunch of clothes. <laughs> Stealing. That's crazy. This shit's now real. I'm in LA. Bitch, catch me out of traffic. I'll be riding in the latest made it. I got the fucking stereotype. Used to fucking carry a knife. <laughs> what? That was Snow's music, by the way. No more. Okay. No more. Baby, I'm a two ride. Right. How are we looking, hey. Julie? I'm so happy. We need more. When the bags are as tall as you. <laughs> no, no, no. 
So you're going to do, do a blowjob shot, right? Yes, what is that? What? Did you hear her excitement? Girl, I'm ordering like three things. So I'm hungry. Girl, we're supposed to be in ketosis. This doesn't look like an appetizer. This looks like a meal before the meal. You're going to get full of this, and then you're not going to eat the meal you guys eat. I can't really tell if the food is good because it's dark in there. So it's just not really appealing. Can I just eat? When we first got to the wig shop, the first one Zuli picked out was this super light baby blue one. She's really loving the blue. Okay, you put your thing a little too low, so you gotta tuck it back. <laughs> Girl, you gotta look at the mirror and see if you like it. <laughs> you do, you definitely do. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous when it comes to those colors. So it was like it was really hard for me to help her decide because I personally, it, I don't know, when it comes to wigs, I just get really nervous. You like it? I like the color, just not for her. <laughs> Tonight, I don't know if we should experiment. Yeah, I think it's cute. I mean, I'm scared to try really bright colors, but I think it looks cute. Girl, this is gonna be your first wig. This is yours. This is mine. We're gonna make you so. Blue is a really good color on her because of her eyes. It makes her eyes stand out, and her eyes are like very like sky blue, I think. Ratchet, really, I'm dead. Oh, do you honestly think it's a good one? I do. I was like trying to help her out pick different ones. So she tried on like six different wigs and we picked the one that I thought was best for her and it was like an all black wig. It, it looked fire to okay, me. Okay, let's I see. I just, I prefer darker colors. I'm kind of scared when it comes to really bright colors. But I like do you it look like a stripper? <laughs> I kind of just want to walk with you. Do you walk? Do you walk? <laughs> you were gonna smack somebody with that shit. After me and Zuli went shopping, my girl called me and told me that she got us a lift and she wanted us to meet her on Melrose. Zuli never been to Melrose either, so you already know it was crazy. Made it, I got the stereotype, used to Hello ladies, how y'all doing? I think snow is coming to Chicago. I'm not gonna miss it this time. I had an opportunity when I was doing music to open up for her. Missed it, I skipped it, and I fucked up. <laughs> But I do want to go see her show. Yeah. <laughs> you brought me. You brought me a hot dog and my Cheetos, babe. Oh, How cute. Well, the Cheetos are hers. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> I brought you the hot Thank you. You can eat them. All right. So I saw some stuff over here that I already know we're gonna get. So. Okay. You're making her take them off the mannequin. Jesus, she's over here. That mannequin is new. Look at what you. You've been here for five minutes. I walked in here before and I didn't even bother you, huh? And she's making you do all. The Oh, you wanted them. We found so many things that we liked and we literally had somewhere to go so we just was grabbing a bunch of shit and we had to head out. Really? I couldn't get the areas I wanted because you said we let go. What are we doing? I think we can actually get the t-shirts. Yes. I kind of like this but I'm not sure if my boots would pop up. Juju, do you think that my boots would pop out of this? Yeah, they will. Buy them. Buy them. Show them to you. <laughs> what? Hey. Buy them to you. All right, we have, we literally have like 30 minutes before we got it. Juju feels good carrying bags. Makes her feel like she bought a lot of stuff for herself. Aw. <laughs> so we out here on Muffkin. Where we at? So Zuli, this is the infamous Melrose, all right? Whenever. I'm excited. This is like where I'm I believe that's where the, all the stars are at, are at. Was it called the Walk of Fame? I don't know. We've been to LA once and it was fun. It was a good time. So I want to stop the video here and read one of these comments from one of my subscribers. Now this comment is by Nathan Reed. I love your channel, heart. You are so underrated. She, and they put, put underrated in caps, okay? And deserve way more views. But keep up the good work. P.S. I love your eyes. Well, thank you so much. Um, first of all, uh, my eyes are fake. <laughs> they are contacts. I am blind. Blind as a bat. Um, I wear glasses most of the time, but I wear my contacts when, my, when I film because of the lighting. If I was to wear my glasses, the reflection of the light was gonna fuck it all up. So that's why I wear my contacts. But thank you, and um, yeah, I agree. Uh, my channel is definitely underrated, and it does deserve a lot more attention, for sure. But YouTube is not putting me on people's recommendations. How else are they gonna find me? I know one way. My supporters, I need all of you guys to share my videos or share my channel. Talk about my channel. When y'all are at a party getting drunk, talk about my channel. Tell them to subscribe. 
Because listen, I don't know any YouTubers, so I can't collab with other YouTubers to gain more attention. I just can't. So I'm doing it from the bottom, I'm trying to get to the top. All right. All right, let's get back to this video. Oh, by the way, thank you, Nathan, so much for commenting. Let's get back to the video. All the movies. Everyone go shopping at Lulu. <laughs> this is really crazy. Yeah, but I really did feel like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman when she's shopping and she's becoming a new her. I love that movie. Love that movie. I had never gone into such pretty and expensive stores. It was an interesting experience. Just to be able to buy some stuff there was pretty awesome. Just to be able to say like, hey, I bought this in Melrose. But, you know, I feel like it was kind of, you know, I could shop there. I could shop at Forever 21 or I could shop in a swap meet. And I think I'll be happy. It really doesn't matter. Oh, that's cute. How are we feeling? Y'all ready for tonight? Barely. Julie, you ready for tonight? Could be a girl. That's your fault. Dang. They just threw the pants back on. Those are some badass pants though. I'd be too nervous to try it out. I don't take that many risks and I should. Gotta live life to the fullest. We grabbed the ones on the mannequin and she just <laughs> just hilarious. Yo, the sunset looks really nice. Alright, so Zuli, talk to us. Um, well this is the first time I'm here at Melrose and I'm shopping and I'm just really happy. Aww. Do we you guys need anything from Urban Outfitters? I mean I think we're good. You what? You've never been to an Urban Outfit. Babe, she's never been to an so. Urban Outfit. We gotta at least stop by. We're getting home at 7.13. We literally have to be ready and we have to be out the house by 8.15 because it's a 45 minute drive. I have a- How are you guys gonna do that? There's three of you. Three women. Probably just one shower. Y'all have a bunch of clothes, a bunch of makeup. Y'all gotta do your hair. How do you need to make it on time? I have a special talent and I can get ready really quick. Okay. You, I'm letting you know we are in the car by 8.15. Getting there and oh shoot, we just gained a minute. Good we luck. 8.15, arriving to the place at 9. I love LA. I love California. I would never live there because I don't fit in, but I love going sightseeing and just enjoying it as a vacation. For y'all hate to lie, hating on the gram is easy. I would hate to hate his life. Look, so we are now presenting Zuli the bad bitch. Okay, girl. Hey, what? Girl. You look fire. What? Bitch. Hold on. I'm loving it. Okay, that was nice. Okay, Juju, you snapped on the hair. That was a good choice in a wig. Uh, the shirt is very nice. Very um. A lot of skin, but very nice on her. I can't really tell with the pants though. You guys, y'all should have done a body shot. It says. Period. 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 Sis. Period. Sis. A little attitude now. Okay, girl. Okay, dizzy now. Okay, dizzy now. I love it. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, and she looks so happy. Yeah, she All right, we're gonna take pictures now, okay? So pose for pictures. Pose. Start posing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do it. You're taking a bunch. Of, I'm taking a bunch of pictures of you right now. Just keep going. Just keep going. Okay. I see you. Give us, give us, a, give us a little wink. <laughs> twerk, 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 son, no. twerk, son, twerk, little. I can see that. Twerk. I'm gonna get some of those pants and just clip it up. You got this girl taking a bunch of pictures. Yes, yes. You're the best. Confidence. Yes, Gotta have that confidence. Yes, See, any woman can wear that outfit. Any woman can wear it. But you have to show confidence. If you're not confident in that outfit, it's gonna show. And it's gonna make it's gonna ruin your whole outfit. But if you got the confidence and you walk in it like you own the place, then you're gonna have a lot of people turn. You're single and ready to mingle. You're hot and you're ready like Little Caesars pizza. <laughs> pizza. Okay, now we gotta go out. We are, it's Wednesday, is there something open? We're going out. We're going out. Let's go, let's do this. Adios. Part of being a woman is like being able to do whatever you want. For a long time I feel like I was very shy and like reserved and I do feel like Juju has helped me. I have not commented on, on her hair yet. I love her hair. That's a great color on snow.
me like come out of my shell more i feel like as i when i met her i was coming out of my shell and then once juju once i met juju she's such a free spirit but i think she's kind of like infectious like when it comes to that so it's dope to see zuli is trying to try new things just like i'm trying new things juju's trying new things i was shy and i feel like whenever i try new things there is sometimes old fans that'll tell me like that's not you or you're changing and i feel like a lot of times as a woman like that's your fear right is like people be like "Ooh, that's not you or like what are you trying ha 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 so that's what the fear is in being outgoing but i think as far as us three empowering each other and being like hell yeah try that i think that's what you need and i think that's what a lot of people need and so i think if i can leave y'all with something it's like hell yeah like zuli's gonna try a bunch of stuff she like went purple didn't necessarily feel like that was her so she's going blonde and then she's switching up the color and she's gonna do all kinds of stuff because that's what it is right like you wanna you have to experiment like you won't you won't know exactly who you are until you, you try new things try different clothing try different hairstyles try living in different locations try traveling different views different sites you have to try as much as possible in order to find yourself uh, try everything and be like maybe you like this maybe you like that um so if i can give you one piece of advice is go try some new shit and uh comment below what you've always thought about trying but like you're kind of scared as far as like style or like look or whatever and like maybe we can try some of the things that y'all have been wanting to try maybe we'll let you know how it goes if there's any styles or anything like that comment below but also i've been not reminding y'all to text us so here's the number oh shoot as i get a text uh but just so you know you can text us there's gonna be some special things with the texting um involved definitely special discount codes definitely special announcements and also i have 50,000 text messages so i don't get to all of them but when i do it is definitely me it is definitely on my phone and the number is 408-414-6387 text that number and we're gonna have some special announcements and special stuff if you have it go check out perico go check out mad love i had a special surprise for juju that was supposed to come out on valentine's day with the song unfortunately oh yeah what happened late. things got like kind of messed up i'm very bad about it um and then i kind of was feeling like maybe it just shouldn't drop anymore like it's kind of late did i miss it did i not so girl you better drop that come on i saw in my youtube timeline that you were gonna post the video and you never did just post it who cares if it's not valentine's day anymore comment below it's if you music. think i should still do it yes I, think, I don't know i'm really torn so comment below if you think i should still do it comment below what you think about the transformation what you would like to see us wear or do or in what you've been wanting to try so thank you guys so much for watching love y'all it's everyday days and make sure you check out every night nights All right, I like her music. All right, that was a good video. That was a good idea. And you know what? Her cousin seems very happy in America, so I'm happy for all you guys. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.